Hello! I am Nurse Ken. Thank you so much for watching my videos on YouTube. Um, I am so thankful for my subscribers. Now, this time I'm going to teach you how to perform your assistive devices using the cane. I have here my cane. So this is what uh, we call a collapsible um, cane because you can simply fix this one or assemble this one as easy as that. Okay, so you have your cane. Now, um, first and foremost, if we're going to assist our client in ambulation, okay, with the use of assistive devices, number one is we have to identify what type of device are we going to use. Second, okay, we also have to know the different measurements. Okay, so measurements of our assistive devices, um, the height of its of the device, uh, and also we have to understand the different gait patterns. And of course, our safety is always our priority. So we have to start with the parts. Okay, so this is a straight cane, as you can see. Okay, this is a straight cane, and we have the handle. This is the handle. Okay. We have the um, shaft, we have the snap button, like this, snap, okay, wow, like the sound, sound, okay, we also have the rubber tip, okay, so in this case, this collapsible um, cane, okay, uh, there is a, an adjustment knob here, so that it won't be removed, okay, so you just roll it, okay, to lock your device okay also we have to remember the different measurements okay I'm going to stand for the cane okay please do remember this you have to let your patient hold the cane at the strong side again strong side not the weak side of course okay so if your patient has right-sided um, paralysis Okay, so you let your patient hold the device at the left. Okay, so that's it. Measurements, the handle should be at the uh, waist level. Okay, to be in technical, to be technical on that, particularly it should be at the level of the greater trochanter here. Okay, so it should be at the level of the greater trochanter. Okay, also your elbow flexion should be um 20 to 30 degrees flexion okay so not 45 this is 45 it's 20 to 30 okay then you have to start hold the device at the strong side okay so we have the we have different gate patterns first we have the two point gate okay for the two point gate you have to advance your cane together with your weak leg one followed by your unaffected or strong leg two again that's two point gate let me repeat that for you two point gate advance the cane together with the weak leg followed by the strong leg advance the cane together with the weak leg followed by the strong leg very good how about three point gate you have to advance the cane followed by the weak leg and then the unaffected leg advance the cane followed by the weak leg and then the strong leg that's it very good that's our two point gate and three point gate so um more videos are coming thank you so much for watching and please do subscribe and share thank you